I don't know. I can't think what to say right now. Jeremy Shea speaks through tears as he remembers his half-brother, Nevada Crinky, killed Tuesday in the line of duty. <sighs> yeah, he was a great guy. Um, always wanted to serve. Jeremy and Nevada grew up in Bozeman, where Jeremy still lives. He spoke to us over the phone about his baby brother's death. He is 18 years older than Nevada. You really watched him, like, grow up, sounds like. Yep. Yep. Uh, when he was, I think he was four when we got married, and so he was in our wedding. I remember he, he came out with my grandparents and fell out of the camper and got a big gash in his head, so he had stitches for our wedding. Jeremy also mentioned that as kids living in Bozeman... He didn't live far down the road from us, and him and his sister would always come over, come over and play rock band. Nevada graduated from Bozeman High School in 2009. Jeremy says Nevada always knew he wanted to serve and help people. He joined the Army and was deployed to Afghanistan, where part of his job was to protect children walking to and from school. After his time in the army, he came back to Bozeman to figure out what he wanted to do, and he uh, he wanted to be a police officer. All he wanted to do was serve and and uh, help people. Nevada joined the Sheridan Police Department in 2017 and was promoted to corporal in 2018. He became sergeant in April of 2022. Jeremy says when Nevada wasn't working to help people, he loved playing video games, being a shooting instructor for fellow officers, and most of all. He loved his dogs. Um, he had several dogs, and then plus his wife is she was on the force, so she had a couple dogs plus the canine. So, so they love other dogs. Nevada leaves behind his wife Carla, who also works for the Sheridan Police Department. Their baby girl, as well as a huge family that loved and cared for him. Jeremy says even though Nevada knew his job was dangerous, there was nothing else he'd rather be doing. He loved his family, but. Um, but he loves his job. In Bozeman, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.